she's a dear friend but also an absolute superstar we've recently just seen her win a south african music award we've also seen her starring as nala and beyonce's black is king but more than anything this lady's consistency in this industry is one to be admired and someone who i'm so proud to call my friend she joins us in studio today the international queen herself welcome nandi to the home ground couch <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this incredible? How are you, I can my do babe? this in my robe and towel. <laughs> you look fantastic. Listen, Black is King, we all watched you starring as the queen there. But more than anything, what that whole experience showed us is that your international prospects are right here. What is going on with yeah. your, your moves in terms of internationally? I know this has always been your vision. What's happening with Nandi mm -hmm. on the international front? Well, what a time to be alive. Thank you so much for having me. I love the show and I'm sending love to everyone there. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and obviously to your viewers. But um, yes, what a blessing indeed. I think more than anything, without saying too much, but Beyonce, first of all, who's the most incredible, sweetest, most humble human being ever and hardworking, uh, you know, had, had chosen, we went through like a, a casting process, um, but she chose me. And that means the world to me. And so you, sometimes you don't realize something when you're off set or on set and doing things, you don't realize that you actually, this project is going to be seen by everyone around the world. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because you just do the job. And then once it dropped, I've never seen so many people speak to me from all over the world. And, it, and also just the opportunities, um, of course, in the middle of COVID, but it's so exciting because I'm dropping a, a, a single this, this month Yay! called Organic. <laughs> yes! yes! <laughs> but, but also, and thank you so much, but also it means that a, a lot of um, my career life is going to be based both in LA and of course in the country here in South Africa because there's just been so many opportunities. One of my American friends said, they're going to be calling you Nala every, especially the kids. Oh my <laughs> god! Oh my god! Like, you keep that pink hair, they'll be calling you Nala. And I was like, oh Nala, man, at least, you know. Yeah, okay, nice. Don't change your yeah, hair exactly. anytime soon, please. Yeah, yeah. Can you please <laughs> stop, Nala? Passion. Yeah, that's my new name. There must be <laughs> continuity <laughs> and consistency, and that's probably <laughs> one of the things you know that you're renowned for mm. your consistency in every single thing that you do. Minnie mentioned it earlier as well. What do you think, yeah. you know, makes you have that staying power? What is it about you and your character that still makes you so consistent yeah. after so many years, Nand? Yep. Absolutely. Well, I think someone like Minnie would actually know this. It's authenticity. I've always been this way. Uh, well, especially after high school. So I haven't changed my DNA and who I am. Mm. I come from a family that believes in such. And I think that's when it when it's when it's who you are. That's when you have longevity. Because this is not an act. It's what I believe in. Um, I love my continents. I love what we represent. And it's always been that way. And I think that's what makes you key and unique. You can tell when people change to be like brand relevant and that's always mm. a problem because you'll always be changing who you are i've been doing this even when it wasn't relevant and i did it now that it is more relevant i guess you know being 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 this way but it, whether it was cool or not cool this is who i've always been and i think that's what's key always maintaining your relevance in terms of being authentic through yeah. the authenticity yeah yeah Nandi, one of my favorite things about you is that you really encompass all it is that it takes to be a woman. Not only are you incredibly successful, you and KO did it, did it again. You just won a summer. You've got your brand new single coming out. You starred in Black is King, but you are a wife, you are a mother. You literally do it all. I want to ask you, what is your message to all the women out there who are barely hanging on by a thread, trying to keep it together? Because I mean, it looks like you do it with such grace and elegance. Mm. Well, my message is there is no grace and elegance. But as long as you have, you know, your heart in the right place and of course align yourself with this person above, you'll be fine. We all don't do it well every day. I mean, uh, there you go. One of my kids is playing a nursery rhyme song <laughs> as you speak on television. It's not perfect. So as long as you know that none of us are doing this thing perfectly, but as long as you have the passion and know that nothing's impossible to a willing heart, You'll do it, you'll get through it, but not perfectly. And I think that's an important narrative. Yeah. You will not do it perfectly. Some days you want to cry, some days you're so happy to be doing it. And, and that's the most important message, yeah.